This is a continuation in the video series on the Ralph Steam Engine. In this video, we are machining the crankshaft for Ralph. The crankshaft drives the piston and causes the cylinder block to rock on its pivot, which acts as a steam valve, opening and closing the steam inlet and outlet ports. The crankshaft is made up of an axle and a circular plate with an offset drive pin that acts as a cam. Construction notes describing the part and the machining operations can be found at the Eclectic Builds website, listed in the description. The plate is shown here with a boss machined on one side. Sadly, the earlier footage of the machining of this side was lost. The crankshaft plate is flipped and held in a collet chuck by the boss, while the reverse side is faced off. The face of the plate is spot drilled and then drilled out for the crankshaft pin. The crankshaft pin is turned down from a piece of tool steel rod. A test fit against the crankshaft plate shows the pin to be a little tight. So the emery paper is used to take down an extra thou or two. which makes it a perfect fit. The crank pin is glued to the crankshaft plate with Loctite 680. Next, the crankshaft axle is turned from the same tool steel rod. Both ends are faced and the edges relieved with a lathe file. The axle is threaded to match the crankshaft plate, using a threading die and sliding holder secured in the tailstock of the lathe. The test fit on a crankshaft plate shows the thread is not quite deep enough.
So after cutting another few threads, the plate screws fully onto the axle. The axle is supported in the crankshaft bearing blocks. A tiny grub screw is fitted to the flywheel and the flywheel is attached to the axle and secured using the grub screw. Firebox and stand were painted black with high heat enamel. After lubrication with some light machine oil, Ralph has tested for smooth operation of all the parts. An alcohol burner was fabricated and used to heat the boiler. The true test is starting the engine. And off he goes. It turns over and runs with almost no effort. The final assembly includes some cleanup of the parts and construction of a simple plinth. The plinth is made from hard maple with a decorative relief created on the router table. The maple is stained using General Finishes warm cherry and a couple of coats of polyurethane. Thanks for watching the Ralph Steam Engine build series. There is a playlist that includes all of the videos and makes it a bit easier to play through all of them. Please hit the like button and to see more of the eclectic builds, click on the subscribe and notify buttons.